Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the AccessToTrader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is doing well. Uh, crazy, crazy market. We'll get to it in, in a second. Uh, if you are brand new to the channel, uh, thank you. Thank you for spending uh, 15 minutes with us. Uh, welcome aboard. Uh, you know, Share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Like the video. Uh, help us out. We'll try to help you out with giving uh, you uh, the most unbiased opinion of the market uh, that we could possibly have. And uh, we can be on this journey to uh, never, never land because there's no uh, trophies, there's no finish line, just constant education and the ability to get out of our own way. Again, I've been saying this for years and years and years. There's no such thing as a, a great trader. Okay. Uh, it's just a lot of traders have been doing it for a long time that are, that are um, you know, getting really good at not shooting themselves in the foot versus brand new traders who haven't been through the battles, who haven't been through the foxholes, are uh, doing this on a continuous basis. But it gets, it gets easier uh, throughout the years and eventually you will get that uh, aha moment uh, in your uh, life. So hopefully uh, you guys will continue and don't give up on this journey. So let's talk about the tape. You know, yesterday we talked about, you know, the market's good. Guess what? The market's still good. Uh, again, nothing materialistically has changed. Uh, the Dow is is up seven days in a row. This is the longest uh, winning streak since uh, 2021. Uh, the NASDAQ continues to go up 1% a day. It's just been absolutely amazing. And even today, when you thought, especially in the morning, when you thought, well, maybe today the market will rest. You had NVIDIA down a little bit. You had Apple down a little bit. Uh, you had Tesla red in the, in the morning. You had Amazon in the morning. Is that all right, cool, cool. Your market's resting, can't go up every single day. And then right in the middle of the day, around 11 o'clock in the morning, Microsoft drops a, a little gem. And we'll get to that in a second. Kind of rewind a little bit, right? During 1999 and 2000, uh, again, the internet kind of got really going and that was the dot-com craze. And I remember back then when a company came out with a PR and they said, for example, we're selling jewelry online. Oh my God, it was such a big deal that that stock would just go absolutely out of its mind, right? So any, you know, any PR uh, during the dot-com craze that they were selling some sort of e-commerce online that stock would go nuts. If you guys remember during pandemic, any single company that said, well, we are developing a potential COVID test, that stock went crazy. And now it's just all about AI, right? Artificial intelligence, you hear it all about, you know, all around. A lot of you guys have these uh, chat GPTs. Hell, even I downloaded uh, the free uh, chat GPT app a couple of, you know, it was a couple of months ago. Uh, so now it's getting very, very mainstream. So now companies are using the word AI to really kick things into gear. And that's exactly what happened today with Microsoft. So Microsoft was doing absolutely nothing the whole day, just like everything else. And then right around, right around here, right around 1130 in the morning, they dropped a very, very innocent PR and it basically said, we're going to raise our prices on AI products. And what that basically means is there is demand, right? So when you have more demand, well, you're gonna raise prices. That's exactly what every single business does. And Microsoft went absolutely out of its mind, okay? Uh, it started going absolutely nuts. It went literally from uh, 349 to all the way to 367, going absolutely berserk. And talk about the options market lighting it up. When the PR hit, okay, they were coming for uh, the 350, the 355 weeklies. When the stock started going to 351, 352, they were coming for the 360, 365 weeklies. When the stock was going to 360, they were coming for the August 370s, 380s, 390s, and I even saw some 400 calls coming in. Just absolutely nuts. And just like Microsoft, just during back in the days, uh, with a dot-com PR going online or uh, one of these companies going for a COVID test. AI was everywhere. Then Microsoft came out with a PR with Meta, right? With Meta, a collaboration. Then Meta started waking up. And then all of a sudden, NVIDIA realized, well, wait a minute, we're in AI as well. And guess what happened with, with, with NVIDIA? 
NVIDIA started ripping as well. So you saw just a lot of names going absolutely nuts. And it really does show you that you don't need a lot uh, for this market to get going or for your stock to get going. All you need is a little bit of a PR. The speculation money flow is just embedded in everybody's brain. People are willing to chase everything inside in any price they, they want. And the most important part is once those market market uh, option flow market hits and they start coming repeat, guys, that's the formula. Folks, if I had to start all over again, all over again, not knowing anything about technical analysis, anything about charts, I would begin with the most basic thing. Right. If you know what a breakout looks like, right? Like this is a breakout right here on the video that we talked about uh, going above the 440 level, right? And you just know what a basic breakout is. And if you start seeing repeat buyers, okay, in the same option chain over and over again, out of the body option chain uh, with short term expiration, there's a very, very good chance it's going to light up at some point, whether it's today, uh, yesterday, where eventually it's going to light up. And when it does, it lights up very aggressively. You know, case in point, right? We were talking about PLTR yesterday, right? So about uh, PLTR uh, came in long uh, PLTR overnight, had a runner. Uh, they came out with a PR. Remember they were buying yesterday? Those uh, those uh, buyers that were coming in for the 17, 17 and a half, 18, 18 and a half dollar calls. Ta-da, stocks at over $18. You know, really, really a uh, big move there uh, as well. Um, I, I think going into tomorrow, and all eyes obviously are, are going to be on Tesla that continues to be, uh, you know, going nuts and Netflix that continues to be uh, going even nuts -er, if it's possible, that's even English. Uh, but these stocks are obviously going to be uh, the focal point. Let me just see if there's any other uh, notable names uh, for tomorrow's session. I think those are the big ones. I think IBM reports tomorrow, but um, let's see here, earnings calendar for tomorrow. Yeah, you got Tesla, you have Netflix, you have Goldman Sachs, forgot about Goldman. Uh, you have some airlines, Las Vegas Sands, IBM, you know, some regional banks. But the key, the key, the key numbers uh, for Tesla, it's going to be for Tesla and Netflix. And obviously, Goldman Sachs is going to uh, set the tone for financials. And, you know, look, look, we, we don't know what's going to happen in Tesla earnings. Uh, we've been going through, again, just kind of, kind of the segue yesterday uh, that we had in the options corner. We'll get to the, some notable option uh, plays today. Uh, that we saw being bets, you know, we don't know what's going to happen into earnings. We don't. We don't. You think you do. You might guess. You hope that it's going to happen, but we don't. Okay. Uh, we do know they continue to bet. And we, we, we'll start off with Netflix. Uh, they continue to bet uh, the 500 weeklies. We saw uh, next week's 550s uh, coming in pretty aggressive bets. Does that mean Netflix is a slam dunk? Uh, it's going to 550 tomorrow. Who the hell knows, right? A again, when it comes to earnings, it's all bets, you know, all bets are, are on the table, but nobody knows for sure. Again, the, the, the question is open-ended question, especially after a big, big rally, uh, is the market baked in, right? Is the, are, are the earnings results baked into its run? We'll know, you know, we'll know tomorrow uh, after the close. Uh, same thing with Tesla, right? We've been talking about this for a week already. They were coming from the 300 calls nonstop. Guess what? They're still coming for the 300 calls nonstop. And, I, and I, I'll tell you one thing. I will tell you one thing. We saw now for three, four days in a row, millions and millions and millions of dollars being poured in on the weekly 300 calls and for next week's 330s, 345s. Okay. If they disappoint, there's going to be a fire in all these premiums. They're, they're going to go to just straight to zero. So, Look, they might be very, very aggressive on their bets. Do they know something? Do they have this, you know, the earnings leak? We have no idea, right? We don't know. And obviously, we'll take advantage of Tesla's price action after the earnings, right? Whether it's long, short, or indifferent. But for tomorrow, uh, obviously, this is going to be the big, you know, the big one, the big star of the show, along with Netflix, uh, to see. Again, are these, you know, are these call buyers uh, not uncertain? You know, we'll see tomorrow. Uh, pretty much 24 hours from now, uh, when we're uh, when we're discussing the markets, we'll see. You know, we'll see what happens. Some other notable bets that we uh, definitely, definitely saw today. Um, look at this lift, and I, and again, I'm trying to when I when I do these updates, kind of as as of yesterday going forward. Uh, you know, I try to correlate the option flow into the daily setup. So, for example, I'm not going to talk about a stock that has option flow 20 points out of the money, but the stock looks like crap. But here's a, a point in reference to lift, right? L look at this tight flag on lift. H had a nice move up. Now it's going sideways. If if lift can get above this channel here, the July highs here in the next couple of days, 
maybe this thing lights up. They were coming for the August 18th expiration for the $14 calls. You know, they were coming some pretty aggressive, uh, a pretty aggressive flow. We'll see. Okay, it still needs to uh, get above the top of the channel. Uh, one name that was really, really aggressive throughout the whole morning, and you can see the move uh, in the morning here, really, really big move was Rivian. It, it, it sold off towards the end of the day, but keep an eye on this thing, guys. They were coming for uh, the August 25.50 calls, and they were coming for the weekly 25 and a half, 27 and 27 and a half dollar calls. But you can see here, stock really sold off uh, towards, but had a really, really explosive run. I know a lot of you guys uh, caught the move. Uh, a name, for example, like, well, NVIDIA, right? I'll like, give you an example of NVIDIA. They're not even coming for the 500s anymore, right? And, and it, obviously, it's a really strong chart, really aggressive setup here. And it's very, very close to the highs from two days ago for the, for the next move up. They're not even coming for the 500s no more. We saw some buyers come in for the for the August 18th expiration for the 550 calls. So again, uh, they're they're you know they're either betting strong into earnings or just 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 have blinders on and just don't really care how high the stock goes. They're just continuously bidding up the shares. And again, speaking of Microsoft, and we'll be definitely watching this thing in the next couple of days for a little bit of consolidation for the next move higher. But boy, oh boy, look at these bets, guys. They were coming for. Uh, the August uh, August 18 400s, the October 385. So just a lot of bull market bets being put out uh, literally everywhere. And the most important part is again, guys, do not fall for the euphoria. Okay, don't fall for the euphoria. Trade, take it trade by trade, day by day. As you see, every single day, like they pulled at the open today, they could pull at any time. They're not going to give you a warning. So the last thing you want to do is keep on pushing, pushing, pushing on overextended names. Keep, you know, look at, you know, stick with the stocks like this, right? Stick with the tight, tight stops. T it's tight setups like a lift, right? Nice, tight setup. If it starts confirming in the next couple of days, God bless, right? I'm still along my runner on Apple. Uh, Apple had a res day today. Nice, calm res day. Again, look how tight it's getting. It's getting really super tight. Two weeks of consolidation. Again, they were coming for the 195 weeklies. If this thing could wake up in the next couple of days and take out the yearly highs, man, this thing's going to light up as well. So again, nice, tight-looking charts, not overextended names. Uh, let me give you guys a couple of more names uh, just to kind of watch. Lyft, uh, you know, obviously, uh, I'm watching, uh, I'm watching, um, I'm watching um, uh, Apple tomorrow. I'd like to add above uh, the pre, you know, above the earnings, um, uh, above the yearly highs. Look at AMD, right? AMD is starting to get tight here. Uh, it needs to go maybe a little bit more tighter in the next couple of days. But AMD, if it starts getting above this channel and confirms this Bollinger Band, this thing is going to go. Uh, Roadblocks today uh, started to get, you know, started to get pretty good. Um, I like this is the highest close in the whole formation. I want to keep an eye on this thing for tomorrow as well. And uh, Letter U, right? Letter U has been a really, really good trader. Had a really great base a couple of days ago. Now it's trying to go sideways. It needs to confirm above the Bollinger Band to have its next leg up. So tomorrow, guys, again, uh, all eyes on uh, Netflix, all eyes on Tesla. I mean, again, if this is a slam dunk tomorrow at 300, you know, it's it's a tough slam dunk because every time, you know, all I'm seeing on social media is this is free money, free money, and free money. And all I know is retail, when retail is all on the same side of the same trade, no matter what the institutional money flow is doing, all in all, it's not a slam dunk. Hopefully, I'm wrong. I would love to see uh, Tesla completely go bananas and start tackling uh, higher levels because, again, there's no better feeling. Uh, no stock hits better than when Tesla's on a runaway train, and hopefully, uh, we'll see what happens tomorrow. But again, you know, we're always preparing on both sides of the market. We don't need a bull market. Uh, all I need is ranges, and if one range confirms, that's all I am asking for. Guys, God bless everybody. Actually, tomorrow, there is no video. Tomorrow's Thursday. Or tomorrow's Wednesday. I'm sorry, tomorrow's Wednesday. There is a video tomorrow. So tomorrow, uh, we will see where we are uh, in about 24 hours where their earnings are, and we'll see what our thought process going forward. Guys, God bless. I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.